Seek, explore, and discover new knowledge on a daily basis. Determine what areas of study to focus on and expand your areas of expertise. You do not need to know everything about a particular subject, nor will you ever. But choose subjects that interest and fascinate you. Spend a lifetime learning everything you can about a particular subject or subjects. In the beginning, you are the student, but in time, you may become the teacher. Share your knowledge with others. Teach them what you have learned, but never stop learning. Consciously choose to remain curious at all times and in all situations. Now, we need to embark on a quest of knowledge. We need to develop the habit of studying and learning every day and never stop learning. We must always be curious. Thank you for listening to Music, Motivation, and More, the Positivity Podcast. I am your host, Gerald Simon. I am the founder of Music Motivation and the creator of the Cool Song series. I am also the creator of Essential Piano Lessons. It's part of a, an Essential Piano Exercise course that I've created as well. Today's podcast is titled, Embark on a Quest of Knowledge. And I would like to read from my book, Perceptions, Parables, and Pointers. A paragraph found on page 42. This is the positive perception for this podcast. This is what it says. Embark on a quest of knowledge. Study, learn, inquire, and continue to be curious. Curiosity increases your intensity towards increasing your intelligence. Seek, explore, and discover new knowledge on a daily basis. Determine what areas of study to focus on and expand your areas of expertise. You do not need to know everything about a particular subject, nor will you ever. But choose subjects that interest and fascinate you. Spend a lifetime learning everything you can about a particular subject or subjects. In the beginning, you are the student, but in time, you may become the teacher. Share your knowledge with others. Teach them what you have learned, but never stop learning. Consciously choose to remain curious at all times and in all situations. Now, we need to embark on a quest of knowledge. We need to develop the habit of studying and learning every day and never stop learning. We must always be curious. For the motivation in a minute portion of this podcast, I would like to read a quote by Malcolm Forbes on page 195 of my book, Perceptions, Parables, and Pointers. This is what it says. Education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. Socrates was famous for telling everyone how little he knew and how much he needed to learn and how the more he learned, the less he knew. And it, it got him in trouble sometimes with people. But it's true, the more we read, the more we study, the more we learn, we realize that there is so much more to learn and study and know. Because the more you learn, the more you have a craving to learn, and to study, and improve, and progress, and grow, and develop, and do better. And that is what we should all develop on a daily basis. For the Music Within portion of this podcast, I'd like to have you listen to The Sands of Time from my album, The Dawn of a New Age. I hope you enjoy this.
For the poetry that motivates portion of this podcast, I would like to read a poem I wrote from my book, The As If Principle, Motivational Poetry. This is found on page 70 and is titled, No and Do. Listen to this. I've been to the land of the no and do, where the dreamers and achievers abide, a place where successful people dwell and where I long to reside. Nothing is impossible when you're surrounded by people who believe. Nothing is improbable when everyone besides you wants to achieve. The collective power of productive people propels the prodder along, and dreamers become achievers when they know that's where they belong. It's an interesting contrast between knowing something and doing something. And so what I did is I talked about the land of the know and do. It's not just the land of knowing, and it's not just the land of doing, it's the land of know and do, where dreamers and achievers abide. It's a place where successful people dwell and where I long to reside. Hope you enjoy that. Just a simple poem I wrote, but it's about knowing and doing. It's about accomplishing what we want to accomplish. I would list five actionable steps. At the end of each of these podcasts I do, I always like to list five steps to have you take that you can then apply in your daily life to help you accomplish whatever you hope to accomplish. For today's topic, it's been about embarking on a quest of knowledge. So what I would recommend, five actionable steps to take starting today. One is learn something new today. We can learn from all walks of life in every situation, every area, any expertise you want, but learn something new today that you did not know before. Step two, I would have you read a book today, and I would encourage it to be a nonfiction book, something about knowledge. Whatever topic you want, read a book Now, you don't have to finish the book today. You could start the book, and and maybe it will take you a week or more to read the book, but be reading every day. The third actionable step I would recommend is to learn a new skill. Start learning a new skill. Maybe it's a new talent that you want to develop. Whatever it is, it could be gardening. It could be blacksmithing. Maybe you want to learn how to develop or create swords. Maybe you want to learn how to play a new sport whether it's basketball, maybe you want to do soccer or football or wrestling, maybe you want to try snowboarding or skiing or wakeboarding, whatever it is, learn a new skill. Actionable step number four is learn how to count to ten in a foreign language. Now, whatever foreign language you choose, learn to count to ten in a foreign language. The act of learning a foreign language actually stimulates the neurons in your brain because it's like you're starting over again and you're having to relearn at ground level something that you don't know. And in this case, it's how to speak. You don't know how to speak in whatever language it may be. So whether you are learning French or Italian or Spanish or Portuguese or German or Chinese or Russian, Japanese, whatever language you want to learn, Start learning and start counting to 10 in that foreign language. And then the fifth actionable step I would recommend taking is to study a new topic starting today. Whatever topic it may be, you can have a list of topics you would like to find out about. I would have you come up with a list of questions you would like to find out the answers to. And as soon as you start writing down questions, you will find that there are so many more questions. Maybe it could be, what is the capital of of New York? What is the capital of Texas? You you start going through and thinking, okay, well, do I know much about Ecuador, Australia, New Zealand? Okay. You start thinking, how can I learn more? And I would recommend studying a new topic starting today. Thanks so much for listening to this podcast. I hope you embark on a quest of knowledge that you learn, that you know, and you do. You need to have both. The one without the other will not help you improve and progress. You need to know but you need to do as well. All of these books that I like to read from, my book, The As If Principle, Motivational Poetry, my book, Perceptions, Parables, and Pointers, my other poetry book, Poetry That Motivates, and my book, Who Are You? Your Personal Success Goal Book, Discover Who You Really Are and Who You Can Become. Those books are all available from Amazon.com. You can also find them at Walmart.com. They are available from BarnesandNoble.com and several other places. I created on a new website that I put together. It's titled 
poetrythatmotivates.com. You can actually download the PDF series for those books. And then if you want, you can upgrade and add on the paperback copies, but you can have access to the entire series. If you want to read those books, you can find out more at poetrythatmotivates.com. But let me know if you have any questions. Every week I come out with a brand new podcast, and they're all about improving, being better today than we were yesterday. They're all about trying to learn as much as we can, do our best, and continually progressing in life. So thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. You can listen to my other podcasts as well from my podcast series, Music, Motivation, and More, The Positivity Podcast with Gerald Simon. Check out my websites, musicmotivation.com, essentialpianoexercises.com, essentialpianolessons.com, essentialpianoteachers.com, and then we have a new website we're coming out with soon, Empowered by Positivity. Dot com. I'd love to have you check that out as well. Again, my music is available from all streaming platforms. You can listen on Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Amazon, iHeartRadio, any of the different streaming sites. But I'd love to have you watch my YouTube videos if you go to youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. Check out my YouTube videos, and you can just type my name and find out more about that but thanks so much hope you guys have a great day see you bye subscribe to music motivation and more the positivity podcast to receive updates of each new weekly podcast produced and released by gerald simon A new podcast is recorded and released on Mondays. Listen on any podcast platform of your preference. But I'd love to have you listen to my music as well. You can listen to my music and find my artist name, Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. You can listen on Spotify, on Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon, all the different streaming platforms. I would love to have you check out my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. I have motivation in a minute and poetry that motivates videos that I have produced in addition to my own music videos and music educational instructional tutorials that I've created to help teach music the fun way. I'd love to have you check it out. I'd love to connect with you on social media. You can connect with me on any social media platform. You can go to facebook.com slash Gerald Simon. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the different social pages, at Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. But I'd love to have you check out my music. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a great day.